Katie with CreaForm. Uh, you can also find me at ask3dscanner.com where you can post up your questions about 3D scanning and how it's useful in the business world. Today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of uh, a scan to 3D CAD inspection. This is something that I get a lot of questions about from people who are new to the 3D scanning industry. Uh, they want to know how does it work? How do I go from a scan to an inspection report on a part? So today um, I'm going to show you, I'll start off by loading in a CAD model. Here is our CAD model in gray. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to scan a part. And that's done down here through the scan menu. We use Creaform VX Scan. We'll press this button. This will open up VX Elements as a plugin inside Polyworks. So over here we have some parameters for the scanner itself and over here we have a button for start scan. We can also give the scan a name. So we'll say start scan. I'm going to go into this view so you can see the actual part and the scanner as I scan. So today I'm using the HandyScan Black and it does need some little target stickers that you see on the part. Those stickers are how the scanner knows where it is in space. Kind of like how the old sailors would use constellations of stars to navigate to know where they were. Um, that's how the scanner knows where it is. It uses the position of the constellation of targets. So now we have a good complete scan of the part. We'll go ahead and we will remove the extra data that we don't need. Down below here you can see where my hand was gripping it, things like that. We'll get rid of that. So do connect selection so everything that's contiguous is selected. I'll invert that selection and delete that other data. We also have some stray data points out here still. We'll use the Delete Isolated Patches button. So now we have just the part isolated. And we'll say, um, I'm going to put this on Express to make the, the processing time shorter and we'll finalize the scan. Now we'll accept it. If 
And now we have a moment where we have to wait for the processing to complete. And once that's complete, we'll go back into PolyWorks and I'll show you the remainder of this demo. Okay, so now we're back in PolyWorks Inspector. We can see here we have our CAD model. Here in the yellow, this is our scan data. Close our scan menu. So now we want to align this scan data with the CAD model. So we'll go into here to our alignments menu, go to best fit to data, best fit data to reference objects. We'll let this run automatic. Now we can see that the scan data is now aligned to the CAD model. At this point, if we want to, we can put in a data object deviations color map. And this gives us a, a visual reference as to where the positive and negative material conditions on this are relative to the nominal CAD model. The scale is on the right. Uh, it defaults to plus or minus four millimeters. Uh, that is adjustable. There's a menu over here. Edit color scale, you can adjust that however you like. So now that we've done a best fit of the data, we might want to do a datum reference alignment. So the first thing we need to do is create our datums. For the sake of the demo, I'm just going to make some datums. I don't have a print of this telling me where the datums are. In the real world, we would. Um, but I'm just going to assign some datums, and I'll show you how the process works. We'll call this datum A. And we'll use this as datum B. And I'll use this as datum C up here. And I happen to know there's some draft angle in that, so it's actually a cone. So before we can use these to make the alignment, we have to extract them. So we'll say extract all measured. So now you can see these little rulers come up next to the the features, that means that they have been measured. Now I can go back into my alignments down to datum reference frame alignment. Click on that, expand the creation menu, and select um, my datum features one, two, and three. So we'll select A, B, and C. Create that. Now before we create any new features, we'll want to align to that so that it is being used for all the creations of features after this point. And if you watch closely, you notice that the color map changed because the alignment changed. So now we are aligned according to A, B, and C. So maybe now we have a bolt pattern here that we want to um, measure true position on. So let's first create some circles. So now we have those five circles. We'll go ahead and select those in the tree view
In the feature creation menu, we'll go to pattern. And we still have those selected, so we hit create. And at this point, if we wanted to, we could say, let's check true position of the pattern. Maybe we want that within half a millimeter. At maximum material condition to A, B, and C. So let's extract those. Oops. Okay. So now those are extracted. We can see on our pattern that it is off almost two millimeters. If I zoom in here visually, we can actually see the difference visually that our pattern is off slightly. So that is a non-conforming feature that failed of the tolerance of one millimeter. We'll create a couple more planes. And we'll look at the parallelism of those planes. So I'm going to assign a datum to this so that I can use it to measure parallelism to the other plane. So we'll call that datum D. And we'll create that one. And let's say we want that parallel within one millimeter to datum D. We'll select those and extract measured. And we can see that that failed. And I have to know that this part does have some draft angle on it, so I'm not shocked by the fail. Um, but this is the basic walkthrough of how we create features in using scan data and CAD models. Once we've created all the features we need and entered our tolerances, which can be done right here, we can create a report. We can also throw in some screenshots. Capture 3D scene. And let's say that we want these features here to be on our report. We'll select just the features that we want, put them in a table, and now when we go into Report Editor, we'll see that we have the screenshot, we have the data tables that we selected. There's also a title page here where you could put uh, your company logo, this is all the headers customizable, we could put in additional, um, like the print for the part, we could put it in here. Uh, but at this point, we can export the report wherever we need to. And that is the basic workflow of scan to CAD inspection. It's really quite simple, it's very intuitive, it's mostly just selecting the features on the CAD model and then extracting it from the, can the scan data after it's been scanned. If you have any more questions, you can contact me at CREAFORM, or you can find me at ask3dscanner.com where you can post some questions. I'll respond to you. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful.